Well, Dr. Liboff, who you saw doing the procedure, joins us now. And, you know, in any situation, you can usually find an individual who benefits. But what are you finding with this in terms of, you know, multiple patients? And how are the studies looking using this in, in PTSD? Two papers came out this month. One of them is from Walter Reed Hospital. 166 patients were done there. I'm a senior author on that paper. And they report 72% success rate. Another paper came out from Long Beach, California, and they took the sickest PTSD people, and there were 75% success rate. This is That's huge. So, so what about long-term success? Is this something that they get the injection and then never have to have it again? Do you have to get it a number of times? How, how long is this sustainable? The longest outlier that I've treated six years ago had two injections. He's doing great. He's off all meds, fully functioning, employed, individual. And also, I think it tells us a lot about the pathophysiology or the cause of PTSD, that just blocking that transmission of those signals or numbing it up, for lack of a but, better but term, why, is so effective. But why the stellate ganglion? Why the cervical chain? How does that affect, really, a process that's going on centrally in your nervous system? So PTSD is a term that's been used since 1980s. That implies a psychological condition that you can actually help. Uh, I don't know if uh, Dr. Ogberg is a friend of mine. He would like to, he is a famous psychiatrist, and he is talking about the need for the change of the term PTSD to PTSI, post traumatic stress injury. What that means is a biological condition. So the way I see PTSD, it is a physical change of sympathetic nerve fibers in the brain. And what's interesting, when you have sprouting of the new nerve fibers, it turns out if you put local anesthetic onto a ganglia, it kills off all the bad fibers and goes to the pre-trauma state. And that's why a local anesthetic that lasts 8, 12 hours max can last for years. And this is just the quintessential example, mind-body connection. These types of disorders are not in all in someone's head. There is actual physical connection there. Your work totally speaks to that. This is so exciting. Dr. Lipoff. Thank you. And I love this idea of calling it post-traumatic stress injury. Disorder implies, again, it's, a dis it's an injury. It truly is an injury. And Matt, we are so... Yeah. So very happy that you could join us, that you're feeling better and doing better, and we wish you the best of luck going forward. Yes. Thank you very much. And like Dr. Thank Lipoff you, said, he's trying to get additional funding to do longer-term studies because that's a part of all this. Yeah. Whenever you're investigating something new, it's getting more and more information. But Man, boy, oh boy, this could change. we salute you for your service. Thank you so much for everything that you do for this country, you and your, your colleagues. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. If you do want to learn more about what Dr. Lipov is doing, you can check it out at thedoctorstv.com. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the Doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.